What if villagers could do redstone? Can you imagine how cool the villagers would be? I mean, obviously they've got farms, so they would be fully automated. The blacksmith would have a super smelter. Their defense systems would be off the charts. There'd be no raids in these villages. It would be amazing. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would be the redstone villager for this video. And I would pop into this village. I would transform it with redstone and hopefully we'll end up with something quite cool. And you know me, I've got to start things off with the defenses. Now, these aren't going to be particularly technical. I wouldn't have thought. I can't imagine villagers having weapons weapons for some reason they seem they seem fairly peaceful but i think it's probably a good idea that they actually get set up with some form of border wall because the pillagers they do use weapons funnily enough and zombies have seem to have weaponless fists anyway i've just thought can you imagine how horrible minecraft would be as a game like how much it would change the game if instead of zombies just punching you which they do which is a bit unrealistic they actually try to eat you like if you came around the corner and a zombie was just devouring a villager that would be that would be horrendous. Anyway, now that I've given everyone, including myself, nightmares for the next couple of weeks, uh, I'm just in the process of removing the trees from the village because it was as as nice as it looked. You couldn't really see any of the houses. I'm gonna level with you. All right. I underestimated how long it would take me to build a wall that goes around this village. <laughs> We we're about maybe an hour, an hour and a half in, and I'm only here. Regardless of that, I have I have constructed it, and it is looking pretty cool. I would say that it's been time well spent, but can we please do some redstone now? And just to make it clear, I'm not going to go crazy with the redstone. I still want this to feel in keeping with what would be in vanilla Minecraft. So I think first things first, we need to do the entrance. And we're going to have a fairly secure entrance to this thing in that we're going to have a security guard operating it. Give me a second. This is Bob. Bob is the security guard. And as you can see, he's a very excitable chap. He also really likes baked potatoes. So if we just grab ourselves one of those and throw it through the system, hopefully he will open the gate for us. Right, it didn't, it didn't quite reach him. There we go. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that I I'm a, a, a massive fan of that. I don't care how simple it is. I love it. Next up, I think we should look at the lighting. You see, if there's one thing that villages struggle with a little bit, it's the fact that they're not actually that well lit up, and that means that zombies will eventually find their way in there. So I think what I'm going to do is spend some time actually polishing up this kind of road network that they have or lack of a part. I mean, this is all over the place. And then I'm going to place in some street lights because, you know, this is 2019. You can't be having your lights on all the time. You only want them on when you need them. Save the planet and all that. In terms of the design we're using, of course, it's super, super simple. Redstone lamp, inverted daylight sensor on the top, trap doors to make it look a little bit prettier, fence post and a little log down at the bottom. And, you know, while we're in the process of placing in the redstone lamps, you should probably sort these guys out with a few sets of stairs because uh, some of these pathways are a little bit on the dangerous side and also put some safety rails in place just to protect our villagers from falling to their deaths because yeah I imagine that will probably happen they're not exactly the wisest bunch and not to sound too much like a builder or anything but I actually really like the way it breaks up the place I think it looks quite cool anyway first redstone building that I want to construct now a shop I've taken out a few market stores that were in this area here they're a little bit low tech and we're going to build them up with a nice shopping mall so, well shopping shopping house shopping building <laughs> definitely not a mall I'm English we don't even say shopping mall I don't know where that came from this is like the complete opposite of a mall as you can see I've constructed kind of like I mean it's basically a scaled up version of what the villagers already had but it's it's big and it looks quite cool actually it's very it catches your eye. It's definitely the brightest thing in this entire place it, It's the first thing you see which I would say is a good thing because you need to know where you're gonna be buying your stuff from now If I just chuck a diamond in here, it should all be working obviously currently I just have yellow wool in there We'll put some more useful stuff inside now. What do villagers actually like? Um, I guess I could just put a, everything that is sold in this shop is just a potato. You know, that's pretty on par with what I ended up doing. Potatoes, carrots, bread, and chicken. We are going to have so many customers in this shop that we're not actually going to be able to have enough diamonds in the world to keep up with the demand. I mean, seriously, have you seen how fast villagers throw carrots and potatoes and bread at one another? It's ridiculous. Anyway, these farms definitely need an upgrade. We need to add some redstone into them. Now, of course, these are carrot, potato, wheat, and beetroot farms. So there's nothing 
There's nothing too crazy automated that we can do. Obviously, we can't use villagers inside the farms because they're way too close to a village. So they won't actually work. So what I thought we'd do is take out all of these builds here and build kind of like a big farming module and then maybe convert this house into the storage system. Okay, so this is one layer and I think we have one layer for each type of crop that the villagers like. So that would be wheat, carrots, potatoes, and I guess beetroot. And I would say we have two modules, one here and then one on this area here and they all connect up into an item stream. I actually, I quite like this. And you know what? It's been so long since I built a farm like this one. Like, I, I can't even remember the last time I built an old school dispenser-based manual replanting wheat, carrot and potato farm. Must be like 2014. So here it is in all of its glory, very much in keeping with the rest of the village. Now I'm just in the process of placing in all of the water buckets into the dispensers and then we can give this thing a full tester. And go. Well, I think it's safe to say that that has not worked quite as well as I was expecting. How have I messed that up? After looking through, I'm really not quite sure. I've removed all the water, so let's just give it a whirl. If we hit this button here, that's a little bit more like it. Okay, that looked good. And then eventually... All right. Okay. Thank goodness, I can still build these things. I was getting worried. Now, I must say I've had a bit of a change of heart when it comes to the storage system idea. Originally, I was going to build a second farm in this area and then put the storage in there. But I've looked at it. It's pretty small in there, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, you wouldn't actually be able to fit the storage system in there. So I've decided to use this space for a big old bulk storage system. And of course, with that, we're going to have ourselves an item sorter that will sort out all of the wheat, the carrots, and the potatoes. I decided not to have beetroot in there because, let's face it, beetroot is terrible. I don't... Has anyone here ever actually use beetroot in Minecraft, be honest. It's not even beetroot, it's rhubarb. I'd totally forgotten. It's been in the game for like three years. I can never even remember the name of it. Now, if they also added custard to accompany the rhubarb to create my favorite sweet or one of my favorite sweets, then maybe I'd be on board, but currently useless. Anyway, the item transportation system is now all in place. So that is going to be sending the items from this area down here up into our storage system. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Can you imagine coming across a village with that system out the back? That looks mega. Potatoes, carrots, wheat. Okay, fantastic. That area is now all completed. So I'm going to move into this space right here because I've been looking around the village. There seems to be a lot of paths here, but there doesn't seem to be too much going on. Now we have a Fletcher that is in this building here. So I thought we would make use of this by building up a little something that allows the villagers to test their fletching skills. Basically, I'm going to do some target practice or do an archery range. Is it an archery range? I can't actually remember what it's called. I got really into archery last year and now I've forgotten everything. There must be an easier way to do this. <laughs> like, I thought you'd be able to copy the MBT data across, but you actually can't. So you actually... <laughs> I feel sorry for people who make songs in Minecraft because you have to do that manually every time. Anyway, as you can see, we've got ourselves bows. We've got arrows in here. Our archery range is set up. And I am really good. Really good. Amazing. First class. <laughs> okay, I need, I need to do more practice. But I've got to say, our village is looking spectacular, isn't it? This is looking super cool and definitely still in keeping with vanilla Minecraft, which is amazing. Now, although this is a seriously lovely house, in fact, it's probably one of my favorite houses in the village. I just love the way that it sits within this little nook right here. I am going to remove it because I want to make way for a little construction for the cleric. Now, I know this is a bit of a stretch, but currently in vanilla Minecraft, the cleric sells bottles of enchanting. They're sort of a type of potion, so I thought I would add potion brewing stations into the village because to me personally, Villagers selling potions actually seems like a good idea. Like, that's a really nice trait. Mojang, if for whatever reason you're watching this video, I would really like to see that in vanilla Minecraft. So the first brewing station is for potions of healing so that the villagers can protect themselves and heal up from zombie attacks. This one is going to be a potion of weakness so they can convert converted villagers back into being villagers. And then the last one is going to be for invisibility so that during the night, if they've got stuck out of their house, they can just turn themselves invisible and the zombies won't attack them. And that, I have to say, is looking rather lovely in that area there. The house is pretty cool, but I would say this is a lot cooler. I always love the look of experience redstone so there is our potion systems but I gotta say that weakness system there that weakness potion has given me a bit of an idea to actually create 
a zombie to villager conversion facility because I feel like the villagers would kind of want that almost like a quarantine area now I thought it'd be good to put this quarantine inside a cliff <laughs> Like really hide it away and it's gonna have piston doors out the front of it and kind of be like a little sterile laboratory I did think about using white concrete and quartz and iron blocks and things like that But I realized that actually it's unlikely that a structure in Minecraft would have those sorts of blocks on the inside of it Because they're quite expensive and I guess Mojang probably wants you to farm those things or mine them So instead I've gone for stone bricks and stone slabs and I'm going to make two separate areas One side is going to be for the regular villagers. That's gonna be this side There's gonna be a glass wall and then that's where the zombie villagers are going to go here is our potion of weakness so that goes in that dispenser right there We've got a button that operates that out the front Then we've got a little lever which allows us to open a hatch to give us access to put a golden apple into it as well and then we have this door at the end here which allows us to let the zombie villager out once it's been converted into a regular villager it's really nice and simple but i like the idea of it let's just quickly make it a little bit prettier on the other side and then i think we're done so there we go with some really subtle additions to this village, I would say we have made a pretty substantial improvement. There's nothing crazy in here. There's no groundbreaking redstone or anything like that. There's just a few simple contraptions that make the village feel a little bit more dynamic, a little bit like there's more going on. I personally really, really like this place. I've also enjoyed the process of constructing it. I'd also be interested to hear your thoughts on what you think should be included in villages down in the comment section because I'd love to hear what sort of redstone contraptions you guys come up with. But anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. You know, I've just finished editing this video and I've realized just now that I'm, I'm making all these suggestions for improvements to villages. Mojang have literally just improved villages massively. Uh, they're, not, they're not going to be touching villages for like another four or five years. <laughs> So this video is just, is purely for the fun of it. I don't think it has any functional use. 